Hello friends and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I do have some people that have just joined the Discord server that are new to the game, so I just want to make sure everybody has the basics down. So if you're new to Star Trek Online and you haven't created your first character and you just barely created your account, then this video is definitely for you. Today I'm going to show you how to create your first character in Star Trek Online, specifically your first Starfleet character. So when you open up Star Trek Online and you log in, you're going to be greeted with this window. This is the main um, home window. You have different options to your right, such as options um, for your visual settings, audio settings in the game, things like that. Um, but to the left, you're going to have kind of this window here. Now, you'll notice they already have characters in this account. This is my free-to-play account. I have four characters on here already. You won't have these, so this is these are just characters I've created over time. Um, so this will be blank for you at first. And what you want to do is you just want to click on this button up here that says new character to the left. So we'll click on that. Under new character, you have options to choose what kind of character you want to create and which faction you want to create them for. So there are three main alien species or alien factions in the game. And those are the Klingons, the Romulans, and the Jem'Hadar or the Dominion. And the Dominion, of course, um, if you've seen Star Trek Deep Space Nine, you know who the Dominion are. So they're from the Gamma Quadrant. They are Jem'Hadar soldiers. And um, you have the founders as their gods and whatnot. <laughs> uh, Klingons, everybody should know, um, if you've watched Star Trek at all, who the Klingons are. And then Romulans, who the Romulans are as well. They're an offshoot of the Vulcans. I think they were somehow connected back in the days and they had kind of veered away from each other so but they're a little bit different so yeah those are the alien factions that you have and then you have your option to choose three starfleet um three different starfleet factions basically so the first one that we see here is just regular starfleet this is the one that was created for the game this is takes place in the era of 2409 so this is, I'm guessing, sometime after Nemesis and all that stuff, a little bit more into the future um, from that. And then you have Discovery Starfleet. Discovery Starfleet is if you want to create a character and you want the tutorial missions and a couple of other different missions to take place in the year of 24, or not 2409, sorry, the 2256, which is in the past, this is um, supposedly... Uh, pre-TOS, pre-Kirk um, and all that. So you're going to be able to uh, create a faction and you'll get the era-appropriate uniform as well as era-appropriate starting ship. And then you have TOS Starfleet. So this is um, the original series. This is um, Captain Kirk and, and Spock era. Um, as you can see, it's the old uniform, the old style um, uniforms from that series and the aesthetic overall is that way as well and you'll start off with a um, era appropriate ship to begin with also so those are your options um, you know if you want to start off and you want to uh, the beginning storyline to to take place in in Kirk's era then um, choose this TOS Starfleet faction if you want it to start off in say um, uh, Michael Burnham's era then choose the Discovery Starfleet option. And if you want something more akin to um, post Next Generation, post Deep Space Nine and Voyager, then go ahead and just choose the first one, Starfleet. That's the one we're gonna choose today. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that faction and click Next. You'll see two buttons, one's to go back, one's to go forward. We'll just click Next here. By the way, there's this little box to the right real quick um, that tells you a little bit more about the faction also. So. It'll just give you a little bit more information and feel free to read through that if you want to and uh, just grab a little bit more information for the character that you're creating. So let's click the next um, button and then you'll see that you have even more options here. Um, you could choose your species. We have several to choose from for the Federation faction, for the Starfleet faction. Um, we have Human, Andorian, Bajoran, we have Benzite, Betazoid, Bolian, Ferengi, Packled, Rigelian, 
Saurian, Tellurite, Trill, Vulcan, and then we have an alien species. Now, each of these species has different perks, if you will, in the game. And um, to the right, you'll be able to see a little bit more information on the species itself. Now, a lot of these perks are kind of obsolete at this point, just because the game gives you so many different options to, to um, add, you know, um, different types of, of um, abilities to the character besides what's already innate to that species so a lot of people are going to go for the humans but i would um i would encourage you to go the alien route personally just because you have one more slot um to be able to put ground abilities and space abilities on this character which is really nice to have not fully necessary but it's nice to have that extra slot so usually when I, I create a character, it'll be an alien species if it is available, right? For example, for the TOS um, character, you won't have that. You won't be able to choose an alien species. Um, you'll only have, I think it's human, um, Vulcan, and Tellurite, I think, are the only three species that you'll be able to actually... Oh, and Andorian, sorry. And Andorian. So I think those four species are the only ones that you'll be able to choose. But since this is post TNG and all that stuff, you have a lot more options as to the type of species that you want. If you want to play a Ferengi like Nog, you can do that here too. Just click Ferengi and um, you'll be able to do that. So today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to create an alien species. And then we're going to click, um, oh, by he right here you can choose your gender also. Towards the bottom, you'll see that um, the first one's for female and the second one here is for male. We're going to choose a male alien character and click next. All right, now here you have different career paths that you could choose. Now the career paths come with different abilities um, that you could use as captain abilities. So Starfleet engineer officers right now, currently as of uh, 2024, which is the year we're living in currently, um, the Starfleet engineer officers usually are really good for ground combat. So if you're interested in the ground missions more than you are, say, in space missions or things like that, then get an engineer just because the, the type of, of abilities that they have really help um, for ground combat. You have Starfleet Science Officer. This one's kind of in between the engineering and the tactical officer. It's kind of an all-arounder in a way. You have um, an ability called Photonic Fleet, which is kind of nice in space. It will create some photonic... Um, spaceships to help you in a fight a little bit and that's kind of a neat thing to have with that um then you have starfleet tactical officer tactical officer is chosen by a lot of players simply because the abilities of this type of career path uh, allow you to do the most damage especially in space um so there's that so choose whichever one of these just you know fits your your what you're thinking for your character if you've always wanted to be in the sciences choose sciences if you want to be an engineer choose an engineer if, tactical, if you, you want to be a tactical officer then go ahead and do that um so really you can't go wrong with any of these just simply because later on um you know you're still going to be able to do good damage with your ships with your ground um ground character so it really it doesn't matter a hundred, like too, too much in the game nowadays. So yeah, just feel free to pick whichever one you'd like. For the purposes of this particular, um, this particular tutorial, we're going to go ahead and choose the science officer, and then we're going to go ahead and click next. All right, so here you have even more options. So creating a character in Star Trek Online is a whole thing. In fact, um, they say that that's kind of the end game of this game is is once you've leveled everything up, what do you do? Well, you come into um, basically this this um, character creator, or not necessarily the character creator, but the tailor is really what they call it at, after you've created your character. And you can go ahead and you can change the look of your character as much as you want, pretty much. So, especially if you have an alien character. You could change the uniforms, you could change the color of things. Um, so there's a lot to be done here. You could go with one of the standard presets. Um, for the aliens, you have some really interesting looking ones. 
You could even make your alien character look just human if you wanted to also. And that way you could still get that extra slot in uh, ground traits and space traits and um, be able to go ahead and add, you know, extra abilities to your character that way and still look like a human character. So we're going to go ahead and do something a little bit different. I want to go ahead and do uh, make this guy look like Phlox from, from, uh, from Enterprise, at least his species. So we're going to go ahead and try to do that here real quick. We're going to change the skin color. So skin color is going to be around, oh, I'd say around here. He's looking kind of weird right now because um, he is an alien with gradient um, pattern. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and change that. By the way, these are standard presets. If you go to advanced, you have a lot more options. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go through all of them. There's just too many to go through. So just kind of look over it. Just know that there's a lot of customization in this game. So we're going to go ahead and just choose solid color. Give this uh, character solid color instead of the gradient that it previously had. He's going to be humanoid. We're going to change uh, the forehead detail. Right now we have it as a criterion. And I don't think that's what we want. So let's look for... Um, I actually don't know which one I'm looking for. Let me try real quick. Oh, here we go. There it is. The Nobulin, right? So that's the um, that's the species that Flox belongs to, the Denobulans. So we're going to go ahead and change nose detail. Uh, there's not a Denobulin uh, nose detail specifically, but I think um, somebody was saying in one of the Reddit forums that um, one of these other... I'm trying to figure out which one it was. I think it was Nose Ridge was close enough. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it was just the regular Nose Ridge. So we're going to go ahead and just do... Or was it the Creased Ridges? I think it might have been the Creased Ridge. I can't remember right now. <laughs> let's go with the Creased Ridge. I think that's 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 good enough for now. And then we'll change the eye color to humanoid instead of reflective. Green eye color is fine. We'll change the ears are already on Denobulin. Let's change them to the smaller Denobulin ears, which is Denobulin ones. I don't want them to be pointy. Next, we're going to go ahead and give them eyebrows. And we're probably going to go with. Oh, let's see. Flux had really crazy eyebrows, maybe heavy trimmed. So, at least I think he did. He had bigger eyebrows. So, let's go with heavy trim number three. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Actually, you know what? Let's change the nose detail. I don't like that. I think I'm going to go with... With the nose ridge instead. Like this one right here. Nose ridge is one. Let's try that instead. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do hairstyle, and here we can pick whatever you can pick whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead with probably this closed one or closed two variant. Nah, I don't like closed two variant or four for that matter. I think we're just gonna go with closed one right here. Oh, sorry, I clicked out of it, y'all. <laughs> Um, I don't know why it's not clicking. There we go. I guess I didn't click it hard enough. So let's try to change the hair color. Let's give him um, a little bit more brown hair color. So probably something like this. Actually, let's see. Maybe a little bit more of a... There we go. I think that looks better. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of options here. So you have a lot of different colors that you could choose from for your hairstyle, even for your eyebrows, for the eyes themselves. Um, so definitely um, take your time, go through all of this. There's a lot you could do here. I'm going to leave the rest of the, of the way he looks just fine. Um, by the way, if you think that your character has too big of a frown, let me just show you real quick where you could change that. You could um, scroll down under Advanced. For the head portion scroll all the way down and right here there's a uh, mouth corner position 
you could change that. See how his his uh, his mouth changes a little bit. Now he's a little bit less grim, a little bit more smiling. Or you could bring it all the way down and see he's a little bit more grim. The sides of his of his mouth go down. So we're gonna go ahead and probably leave him right here, in between. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the body. If you're okay with the shape of the body, then leave it as is. However, you could also change that. You can make the shoulder bulk more. You can make the chest size bigger. Give him a little bit more shoulder width. We're gonna give him just a tad bit more shoulder width, not a ton. Um, we might go ahead and give him um, a little bit more um, upper arm bulks or just, yeah, upper arm bulk. So like this part of it. So he works out a little bit. So we're going to give him a little bit more upper arm. All right. That looks good to me. Next, we're going to go ahead and increase his leg length just a little bit. There we go. Looks good. And feet size looks good to me. I think that'll be good enough. Now, let me show you something. There's a certain pose that your character could have too. If you go to basic instead of advanced here, you can go ahead and see that there's this option called stance. And in stance, you can go ahead and change the way basically your character stands, right? So when your character's idle, it's gonna stand a certain way. Standard, it's just hands to the side, just kind of a regular standing position, but you could change it to brawler, where it looks like he's always with his arms folded, he's ready for a fight ready to get into whatever he needs to get into. <laughs> you could do creature. So if you're doing a really crazy alien character and you want to kind of hunch over and look like he's, you know, thinking of something and um, something that's, I don't know, mischievous, then you can go ahead and put <laughs> the creature stance on there. And um, yeah, you can see that it looks just like this. <laughs> I don't want that for my character, but let's go ahead and do gruff. Gruff just means uh, kind of shoulders hunched over, bending down just a little bit, and just kind of like, I'm done. I am done with this Starfleet. I don't want to be in this anymore. You know, if you want a character that's a little bit gruffy, go ahead and do that. Next, we have Stern. Stern is basically, this character is with the shoulders back, standing kind of ramrod straight almost, um, just at attention almost. <laughs> position so if you want a stern character go ahead and do that next you have swag i always think of swag as um uh will riker's pose in star trek the next generation right will riker the commander of the enterprise had a lot of swag right so that's the way i look at it and it's kind of more more relaxed even though his arms start to the side you know he's kind of like just more chill so swagger is good. I like swagger quite a bit. I use that on some of my characters. Now thoughtful is one that's for, say, somebody like Spock that always has his hands behind his back, um, kind of standing straight. Then thoughtful is a good one. If you're doing a Vulcan character, that might be a good pose for, for that character to have. Next, we have Twitchy. And Twitchy um, is just that. Um, he twitches around a lot. If you'll see the head, you'll see that he... Uh, is a little bit twitchy, kind of looking all around at different points. Almost a little bit mechanical, but not quite. Um, but it could be good for maybe like something like an Android. Like if you create an Android t uh, character in game or something like that, maybe you might want to put twitchy um, if that's what you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose Swagger because that's my favorite. And um, you could also change the height of your character. Right now, my character is sitting at six feet one inch. If you he can go all the way up to seven feet, be a giant, um, you know, up to you. And could go as uh, small as four foot six, just a little tiny guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at the default, which is six one. It looks good. It looks great. It doesn't he doesn't look too too big, and he's just kind of normal. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I say normal, normal for the game. I happen to be um, under that in real life, so. <laughs> So, you know, you could choose anything between, again, four feet, pretty much four, four feet, six inches to seven feet. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just choose six one again. 
Next, we're gonna go and hit the uniform tab, and here you have some presets already. Now, this is the 2409 uniform. It's called, I believe, the Odyssey uh, type uniform. I think it looks great. It's one of the best looking uniforms in all Star Trek um, anywhere. <laughs> Even the shows and all that stuff. I know that this is not a, um, it's not really a canon uniforms because we don't see it anywhere um, in the in the shows or any of the movies. But this uniform is just good. I really like it. It has um, kind of a look a little bit like um, like a mix between the TNG uniform and um, something like the. Um, Oh, what's it called? The Monster Maroon, maybe, because it looks a little bit more formal. So, I, I really like it a lot. But, if you don't, you have other options. Um, in my case, I have this Gem Hadar uniform, but you won't have access to that. Um, that's because um, I unlocked that in the game. But you'll have the 2409, which looks great again. You'll have the... I, I can't remember what this one's called, but... Actually, it should it should show the names, but it doesn't. Let's see if we go to advanced. If we go to advanced, you'll be able to see the different jackets. So that one is the Odyssey. Antares, okay. So you have the Antares uniforms, which kind of have a carbon fiber look to the, to the material a little bit. These are older uniforms. These are some of the first uniforms that were put in the game. The Odyssey uniform was put much later. Um, you have the Discovery uniforms if you want to use them, even though you're not using a Discovery character. Of course, you have to change the color and all that stuff. You have the Sierra uniforms, which I know a lot of players still use. These are still kind of nice looking overall. And then you have the Starfleet. Okay, so this one was unlocked on my account. If you're just starting off the game, you won't have access to this uniform, unfortunately. It was given away for free um, by Cryptic, um, and I think it's one of the best looking uniforms. Unfortunately, it's no longer available um, for you to just grab. So, I don't know, at some point they might bring it back for free, um, but more than likely they'll probably put it into the mud store to make some money off of it later on. Anyways, moving on, we have the next gen film uh, uniform, which I think is really nice. Even nowadays, it's one of the nicer looking uniforms. In Star Trek in my opinion and that's a very nice one to to have and next you have the next generation scant I think that one is still free for everybody and it's just uh, one of the old you know from like the first season of the next generation some of the officers on board the Enterprise had this uniform with a skirt um, yes even for the males um, so kind of I guess kind of a Scottish kind of thing they're going for for some of that but um, very cool to have access to that I think we're gonna go ahead and just keep the standard Odyssey uniform I think it looks great here you can change your rank right now we, we don't have any ch we can't do any changes because um, we're starting off as an ensign anyways so later on though as you rank up you'll be able to change the rank of your uniform and I'll show you later on how to do that you also have different badges different com badges you can change those to to what you like I am going to keep the the command insignia this is the standard odyssey one but you could change it to just a regular com badge without the command logo on it you could even do the odyssey um odyssey one which is a different com badge also for this type of uniform and it's just kind of the delta with nothing in it just kind of hollow it's, it looks good too you could have the ops you could have the sciences division badge as well as the tng uh badge which i like a lot too but for the purposes of this we're just going to leave it with a command insignia because i know that he's going to be a command officer even though he's in the sciences department and we're going to click next next we're going to name the character name it whatever you want you click random and it'll give you some weird ones um especially if you picked an alien character it's going to give you some weird names for your alien it's not going to give you any human sounding names because you picked an alien character so on this one you're kind of on your own naming your character whatever you want we're going to call him dex and that's going to be his first name you can give him a last name if you want i don't want to he's just going to be dex and then the ship name 
for you, the first ship that you're going to be in command of. You can name it whatever you want here, or you can just hit random and it'll give you any random name that it wants to give. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave it with the USS Balboa and then just click engage. And once you click engage, it'll take you straight to the tutorial. And that's going to be another video. So stay tuned for that. I hope that this has been informative and helped you at least show you the, the steps of creating your new character in Star Trek Online. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like down at the bottom. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. We also have a Discord, so the link to that is down below if you want to join the Discord and ask any questions on there. Um, I'd be more than happy to answer them, and I'm sure that others in the community will be happy to answer that as well. Until next time, live long and prosper. Take care.